Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 528 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. Currently, we are on an extended multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book, The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount from reading and rereading this book on my own trek of life, and I trust that you'll benefit from it also. Keeping with the continuity of wisdom trek, I have adapted it to The Five Trails on Life's Trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. When this day originally airs, I should be wrapping up my week in Arizona. As I have the opportunity, I will share some of the highlights of our progress on the project. On a major construction project such as this, there are no shortcuts to success. And inevitably, there will be issues and cost overruns that were not anticipated. With each issue that comes up, we have a choice to do it quick or do it right. This ties into our topic for our trek for today on the trail of activity as we explore why the danger in seeking shortcuts to success and why change begins with choice as we choose our response to every issue and situation. If you've missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them and get caught up on our progress so far. We have a lot of ground to cover today, so let's break camp and continue on the third trail of this extended trek as we cover the five trails on life's trek, activity part four. And as a reminder, our overall extended trek covers these five trails. Philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and lifestyle. The first area we want to look at is the danger of seeking shortcuts to success. Some of your friends would have you to believe that positive affirmation is more important than activity. Rather than doing something constructive to change your life, they would have you repeating various slogans to yourself which affirms that all is well. You may have even heard this one and been told that you should repeat it. Every day and in every way, I'm getting better and better. While I agree that self-talk is very important, talk without action is as useless as faith without works. You must remember that discipline is a requirement for progress and that affirmation without discipline is the beginning of delusion. There is nothing wrong with affirmations, provided that you remember these two important rules. First, you should never allow affirmation to replace action. Feeling better is no substitute for doing better. Second, whatever you affirm must be the truth. If the truth of your circumstance is that you are broke, then the best affirmation would be to say, I am broke. That would start the thinking process. Spoken with conviction, these words would drive any reasonable and prudent person from ease into action. If your life is spinning out of control, then you must confront that harsh reality of the truth and then discipline yourself to express that truth rather than disguising it in false and misleading pronouncements. By doing this, it will be the beginning of a positive change which will inevitably result in action. Reality is always the best beginning. Within reality, it is the possibility of your own personal miracle. The power of faith starts with reality. If you bring yourself to state the truth about yourself and your circumstances, then the truth will set you free. As Jesus stated in John chapter 8, verse 32, when he was referring to faith, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Once you finally understand and accept this truth, the promise of the future will then be freed from the shackles of deception which held it in bondage. To see real change, sooner or later you must stop blaming your government, your pay schedule, your banks, your taxes, your neighbors, your boss, your company policy, high prices, and your co-workers. You must stop blaming your past, your parents, the traffic, or the weather for the failure to capture your share of the joy that comes from progress. You must come to understand how you really got to be where you are and how you are. It is the subtleties of your repeated accumulated errors that are responsible. It is then the embarrassment of this final truth and your willingness to admit it which will start the process of going from pennies to fortune. But this does tie into the next topic which change begins with choice. Any day that you choose you can discipline yourself to change it all. Any day you choose you can open a book that will open your mind to new knowledge. Any day you choose, you can start a new activity. Any day you choose, you can start the process of life change. You can do it immediately, or next week, or next month, or next year. You can also choose to do nothing. You can pretend rather than perform. If the idea of having to change yourself makes you uncomfortable, you can remain as you are. 
You can choose rest over labor, entertainment over education, delusion over truth, and doubt over confidence. The choices are yours to make. While you curse the effect, you continue to nourish the cause. As Shakespeare uniquely observed, the fault is not in the stars, but in ourselves. You created your circumstances by your past choices. You have both the ability and the responsibility to make better choices beginning today. If you are in search of the good life, you do not need more answers or more time to think things over to reach better conclusions. You need the truth. You need the whole truth. You need nothing but the truth. You cannot allow your errors in judgment repeated every day to lead you down the wrong path. You must keep coming back to those basics that make the biggest difference on how your life works out. Activity is one of those most important basics that you cannot afford to neglect. As Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 tells us, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. We are deliberately taking our trek slowly on the five trails on life's trek as we continue to hike on the trail of activity. Today we learned the dangers of seeking shortcuts to success. There are none. We also learned that if we want our life to be different, then ultimately it is our choice. Next Philosophy Friday, we will continue on the trail of activity as we explore that we need more than just activity. We need intelligent activity that is planned. So join us next Friday for these additional insights. I know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in allowing you to live the rich and satisfying life. Our next trek will be Monday, where we will continue a series called The Tools in Gramps' Backpack, where we will equip you with the tools needed to impact the lives of others. So encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the associated journals, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.